Oh, 5,000. Next is glide path intercept. So if in your descent, sometimes this happens, you catch the glide path. Yes. If you're in the approach mode, it will capture. That's just fine. Then go ahead. If that happens, when that happens, you would put down the gear and you would put down the notch flaps, bring the power to 300 pounds. But since we're going to five, we have the opportunity of getting out of the clouds. Um, so that's why we want that minimum altitude. And another is so we don't have gear and flaps so early. So in these bumps, on the days when there are bumps, we're not uh, feeling gnarly. All right, then. Which way? Straight ahead. 5,000 to the glide path. Glide path is next. Keep our power up a little bit this time and learning from the last one. Yeah. So this is one of those airplanes, most turboprops are, where once you're configured, you know, for the landing or whatever the operation is, then we're going to use uh, power for speed control. Okay, flaps, gear flaps. Tower, medevac, power on the visual to a pre-select amount. Medevac 19 4 Charlie Sierra, going clear, 12 0 runway 2 8, right, clear to land. Clear to land, runway 2 8, right, medevac 4 Charlie Those of you who don't get much time behind the uh, synthetic vision of this beautiful Garmin G1000 may not yet appreciate the importance of the little green circle with the three sticks off the top of the sides. It's called the flight path marker. And it is indeed where the airplane is going. So if we were hand flying this, we would do this exactly like the autopilot's doing it. We would have uh, centered loc needle, centered glide path, and the path marker on the threshold. And if we could do that for a few minutes consistently, we'd have ourselves uh, an approach flown to ATP standards. This little ridge here on this particular approach here at Billings produces some rough air when the winds are much above 10 knots, so we're going to be ready for it this time. You can even see it on the Synvis here. Yeah, 480 on the power, uh, 475 would have been about perfect. I think. Yeah. Well, but that's not a problem to be solved. That's a condition to be managed on a day like today. Yeah. Looking good. Okay, so this time, do not take off the autopilot there. Just one, one touch, right? Take it oh, off okay. here. Okay. Yep. Yep. Toga, pitch, and power. And do that a little more promptly this time. Set that power like you're taking off. Yep. Right away, no delay. Push it straight up. And it'll be nice and linear because the prop's already loaded. Good. Nice. That's it. Fly to those bars. And note that the autopilot stays on. Ah, ah, ah. Don't uh, touch the trim. It'll knock off the autopilot. Two fingers on the yoke. Hold it like a toothpaste tube. And when you're ready for your turn, you just press heading. I think we'll go to 65. Okay. And away we go. Oop. Actually, he didn't give me that 180 this time. Yeah, but we're VMC, so we could do it. So why don't you just let him know we're going to be turning left for one more. Uh, Tower 867 Delta Mike, uh, we'd like to turn left for one more. Uh, Radio 7 Delta Mike, turn left heading 180. 180, 867 Delta Mike. You high plains drifters are so polite. <laughs> <laughs> Dick Rochford, fly safely. 
praying off it.